Well, it's raining and the high is right now. It's 11 o'clock Eastern time. The high is 54. It's going to drop throughout the day. So, I thought about hunting this afternoon, but the feeders need to be filled up. I want to check the trail cam cards. So I'm going out here in the middle of the day in the rain. We're going to get the feeders filled up because with this, we got a big cold front coming through. It's supposed to be really cold the next four to five days. So that'll take us through the weekend. I want to go ahead and get the corn feeders filled up. Make sure that they're full because with this cold weather, I mean, all the acorns are gone. Most of the leaves are off the trees. I mean, the deer are down to the food plots that we have, which are heavily grazed right now. And then, you know, green briar, things like that. There's very few new shoots coming out of the ground. So I think with the cold weather coming in, they're gonna really be hitting the corn. So I'm gonna get those filled up. And like I said, I wanna check trail cameras and just sort of see what's been going on. <clears throat> Especially after the whole poaching incident Saturday um, it's definitely going to affect deer movement around there I want to see what it's done to it uh, the one plus to that is those kids are in high school so maybe doing some morning hunts um, here the next few days because it won't take those deer long to figure out you know when the activity is pushing in because the way I access that redneck stand I mean it's very low impact uh, from where I park I walk in um, I can slip right up the ridge and into the redneck there's there is probably one out of five times I go in there there is a little sway back in the ridge that some does do bet on that I'll bump out every once in a while about one in five so but other than that, I mean, it's very low impact. The way those guys have to come in at the back of the property, it's pushing any deer. They're coming from the front all the way to the back. And, you know, it's not a big parcel of land, so they're going to be pushing deer towards me when they come in. So I definitely want to be in there if I'm going to hunt the evening before they get there. But uh, anyway... That's what we're going to do today. We're not going to hunt this afternoon. We're going to go in and get this done in the rain. That way any human scent will be washed away. But uh, uh, the other guy that hunts it consistently is back in town. And I know he's going to be hunting pretty hard next four to five days as well. We should be able to get some footage of Buck down that's my thinking because we're right here in that window which is historically on this property has been really good for rut so I'm, I'm excited about the next four or five days right now that could change <laughs> but I uh, want to see what they're doing that's what we're going to do slip in here don't know how much footage I'm going to get I'm actually doing this just because I don't want to get my camera wet but that's sort of an update on what we're doing and what the plans are coming up the next little while anyway uh, definitely planning a trip back to West Tennessee uh, hunting some of our leases over there me and Brandon uh, Brandon's right now he's in Texas doing some filming for an outdoor TV show so uh, but we've got that coming up I've got some uh, land in Alabama that I'm going to start hunting here probably before Christmas and I mean in Alabama where it's at uh, ruts on into January but it's getting time to start heading over there and doing a little hunting there so there'll be some footage from that and then we've got our Texas trip coming up January 7th so a lot of things still happening a lot of things to come we're still after split G2 uh, would love to get that buck down that would be my biggest buck in Georgia definitely my biggest buck on this property so <clears throat> we're gonna see what the trail cameras tell us that he's doing and we're gonna go from there so that's sort of an update uh, hope you guys are enjoying the content I know we're 
Brandon and I are having a great time putting it together. Uh, so uh, be sure to share our, share our Facebook links and Instagram post. Uh, we're trying to hit that thousand subscriber mark at YouTube, so appreciate you helping us do that. But uh, stay with us, and hopefully we'll uh, get some good footage of some bucks here in the next few days. Peace!